Hello, my name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mag channel where I am documenting my journey towards debt freedom in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent as a married woman, married woman paying debt alone. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on my video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back. If you're new and you're a viewer, but not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing so that I can get to 1K plus. So in today's video, I am doing a net worth tracker. Typically I was doing these every quarter, at the end of every quarter, but as you know, in June, I kind of abandoned my debt-free journey and abandoned my YouTube channel and now I'm back. I shared in a previous video, I have been listening to this podcast called Millionaires Unveiled. And the first thing they do is they share, you know, their net worth. These are millionaires who are, who have a net worth of a million plus, not necessarily a million dollars in the bank account or somewhere, whatever. So once I got back into um, track or once I got into tracking my net worth and I realized that my net worth has increased from at least the beginning of the year, which is the last net worth. I've seen that my net worth had increased by quite a bit. Um, it kind of got, it rekindled the motivation to, you know, get back on my journey. So we'll just get right into so it. If you're not familiar, you track your net worth by writing down all your assets, the most current value of your assets that you are able to get. And then you list all your liabilities. Liabilities are anything that you owe something on. Assets are anything you have worth value. So there are quite a few assets that I don't typically include, like my engagement ring. I know some people include their jewelry. Some people even include their credit card balances, like the amount of overall credit that they have. I do not include credit. Basically, I am listing anything. So some people, consider assets to be anything they could sell to get cash um like furniture a house or multiple properties cars um jewelry like i said cash they have on hand anything they have in accounts uh i just typically list what i consider these things that have that are listed as assets so we'll start with the assets as for my first asset i have a retirement account i actually just realized I have another retirement account from that job I worked for about three months. Um, and that account is sitting at $77, I believe. And I'm get, I'm going to transfer that into either this retirement account or my other retirement account. Um, so with this is the retirement account from my other job. That job contributed 5%. Uh, I probably contributed maybe one or two percent i'm not quite sure i know dave ramsey says do not contribute do not invest until you're out of debt but i think i have shared plenty of times before that i invest because i have an autoimmune disease my autoimmune disease could cause me to be disabled and if push comes to shove and my husband is not able to cover um the bills the basic bills before i'm able to eliminate them such as the mortgage which is my primary concern I would pull my 401k out to pay this house off. So, um, I do invest. I do not follow Dave Ramsey to the T. I do what works for me. So anyhow, um, that is my question. Would you move this retirement account? This one is with Prudential. My new one is with Transamerica or Ameritrade. Ameritrade, I think it's Ameritrade. And so, um, would you move it or would you keep it? And let me know why. Because, you know, honestly, I don't know anything about investing. All I know is that you should invest into your retirement. And so I did. But as far as like moving in and capital gains and all of that stuff, I'm gaining some knowledge from the podcast, but I don't really know anything about it. So anyhow, um, this is my retirement account. It's at 47, the last time I checked it was at $47,000 and seven forty seven. dollars $79,000. My primary residence is worth two oh five. dollars now. We did in, put in Granite County Tops uh, for about $3,000. My second residence is 
my investment property, which my daughter lives in, is worth $75,750. We have my 2014 Honda Accord is sitting at about $8,500. And somebody told me that is not an accurate read. And I'm almost certain that it's not. But it does have almost 300,000 miles on it. So I don't know. Then my 2007 Tahoe is sitting at about $4,500. The cash I have on hand, this is the cash that I have in my checking account. Once everything clears, it I will have $22.34. My savings is currently at, it's actually at $8,700, but I'm going to say $8,681. My investment account, which is with Robinhood, is sitting at $414. My Roth IRA is still at $840 because it is with this, it is attached to this um investment account and now that i don't work there anymore i cannot invest then i have 900 dollars in christmas cash and i have 2053 dollars in an emergency fund bringing my total assets to 353 739 dollars as for liabilities liabilities are anything that you have to pay money on so I have my Best Buy credit card in the amount of $15.37. I am definitely getting ready to eliminate this. I think the interest ends in September. And when that comes, I'm going to pay this off because one, I keep forgetting to make the payment. I no longer owe the IRS, so I have eliminated that. My student loan debt is actually lower than this because it's at $128,000, but this was where it was when I did this. So it's at $129. $129,779. My primary residence is sitting at $103,211,000. And then my secondary residence is at $67,225,000. And then I have a credit card. But that brings my total liabilities to three. dollars three hundred and six and thirty nine thousand dollars so to get my actual net worth i subtract three hundred and six thousand dollars from three hundred and fifty three thousand dollars and that brings me to a total of a forty seven thousand seven hundred net worth that is an increase from January of about $20,000. And it was seeing this number go up so much that completely motivated me to get back on my debt-free journey and continue to build wealth because I'm so close to being having a net worth of $50,000. And I don't know why I continue to think that $50,000 is so much money, but to me, it's like so significant. And... I don't know like I just it was really what I needed to see to get me back motivated on my journey and to continue to feel like building wealth was a possibility for someone like me and when I say someone like me like I shared in my video that I've been listening to this podcast called Millionaires Unveiled and most of the people on the podcast are white and they're high earning uh high income earning people and i don't fit neither one of those descriptions i saw this number and that it had increased that it made wealth building real to me like the option the possibility even if i only have a hundred thousand dollar net worth like th that would mean a lot to me and it's just because that's not something that I know like that I don't I don't know anybody who looks like me like personally I don't personally know anybody who looks like me who is relatable to me that is a millionaire or that is wealthy like I know a lot of people who look wealthy I know a lot of people who drive Lexuses and have bigger houses and take trips all the time but I have been on my debt-free journey long enough to know that that does not mean that they are wealthy and so just seeing this number and seeing it increase from 20 i'm gonna get the number um seeing it increase you know from 20 some thousand dollar net worth to 40 some thousand net worth in january or I, I think it was actually i don't i think it was late january i look i tracked my net worth you can go back i do have a net worth uh, playlist and I, I maybe I need to look at it myself but 
Um, when I first started this series on my channel, I had a $20,000 net worth. So to see that it has, um, it has doubled really made wealth building a reality to me. And like I said, even if I only get to a net worth of $100,000, like I feel like that is major. To even be out of, a, to not have a negative net worth is major. So that is really what got me back motivated to actually eliminate my student loan debt because that is my major liability although I am still sitting on the fence on if I want to pay my mortgage and own my home or continue to pay my student loan debt. So that is where I am. That is my net worth. My net worth is sitting at a positive $47,000 and I am excited about that. Uh, and so I guess, you know, I'm back. I'm not back to, not back to the point of two and three videos a week but I'm back to consistency, you know, small steps. So that is where I am. I do have a couple of questions. One, should I move my 401k from my old job from Prudential to Ameritrade and drop whatever knowledge you, please share whatever knowledge that you have on that. Any books you know about or you recommend on investing, particularly when it comes to 401k or any blogs or any podcasts or anything like that, that would educate me because I have no problem reading. I love reading. Um, I, I have no problem learning. I love learning, Please, especially about financial uh, independence and all of that so um anything anything that you can recommend that would help me make a informed decision please do so share that down in the comments any advice you have on that and any books podcasts magazine articles um blog articles anything that would help me make a better decision please link that in the comment down below that is it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. My next net worth update will be at the end of September. I'm anxious to see where it will be in three months or well, two months. Um, so that is where I am. That will be my next net worth update at the end of September. And hopefully I stay consistent to the end till that time. Anyhow, thank you so very much for watching. If you have not already, please consider subscribing so that I can get to 1K plus, period. And do remember that the debt-free journey is indeed a journey, not a destination. Bye, guys.